this was the event where you got to race against your heroes. To think that the best snowboarders in the world have all challenged themselves at the Bank Slalom. It's always a challenge. Some years it's full on survival riding. Once a year, Mount Baker Ski Area in Washington's Cascade Range becomes the center of the snowboard universe when it hosts the legendary Bank Slalom. It's a who's who reunion of the world's top snowboarders. For two-time winner Rob Kingwell and Olympic gold medalist Seth Westcott, it's the not-to-be-missed event of the season. Hello, good morning, welcome to the legendary Bank Slalom. It's the oldest running event in snowboarding. It started in 1985. Everyone still comes from all over the world. And it still has that draw. You get to see some of the very best riders in the world show up to race this crazy course. Three, two, race the race. How do they get 400 racers on the same course in one day? About 10 seconds apart. And no time for self-reflection. Say your prayers right there. Racer ready! The course is shaped by the hundreds of riders who race it four times over three days in categories from next gens to grandmasters. It's really cool to like, you know, have started with a sport when it was so in its infancy and to like now see the multi-generational families that are riding in the race. I truly believe the most unique thing that happens in snowboarding. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes, there yes. go! You can have six-year-olds on the course, you can have 60-year-olds. It's just like kind of the great unifying force where the way a bank slalom is set up, everybody can rip down it and have a good time doing it. My strategy on day one is kind of cruise it, feel out you know, the, the trouble spots, get all the bugs out of your system. I have almost no idea how to win this race. I've won it twice and I still don't really know how I did that. There's a lot of history here. So many facets that are important to snowboarding and just important to like your soul. In the early days of snowboarding, there was a group here called the Mount Baker Hardcore. And at the helm was Craig Kelly. Just this free-spirited, badass snowboarder that like inspired our whole generation for sure. He won the Mount Baker Bank Slalom a bunch of times. And so there's always this sense of feeling like this whole week is a, a tribute to Craig in a lot of ways. Finals day arrives with fresh snow. Nerves are tight. But the course is in prime condition. It just changes so much year to year where the banks are different, the conditions are so different. Just all these kind of crusty Northwestern snowboarders that are like way more hardcore than anybody you've ever met. So you're just surrounded by this like really true snowboard vibe that you can't get anywhere else. Mount Baker's a snowboarder's mountain for sure. I still get butterflies every time on the morning of for this one. It's never an easy thing just to get down top to bottom, so battle in there. It's as organic of an event as you can get. In the end, there's no prize money for these riders, but you really can't put a price on a duct tape trophy 
and a year's worth of bragging rights. It becomes more about that honor and pride of being the best rider on that day than it is about trying to make a paycheck. The artisans that make the trophies and prizes every year, it's all a labor of love. Even though Seth and Rob didn't come out on top this year, they'll be back again to pay tribute to the sport they love in the snowboarding mecca of Mount Baker.